2013 Toronto International Film Festival Asian Film Summit with a filmmaker who just spoke on a panel about animation. Shilpa Ranade has the film called The World of Gopi and Baga, which premieres at the festival, is screening in Toronto right now. Shilpa, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So how was the experience of speaking on the panel? You spoke on quite uh, an interesting panel. What was that like? How did it go? I think it was interesting, it was good because uh, it was focused on uh, storytelling and animation and I think uh, it, it was a good platform to talk about what happens in India where animation is concerned. Yeah. What is happening in India right now as far as animation is con concerned? How are we looking? Well, it's right now not that good. Uh, we don't have funding, as I was saying on the panel, we don't have too much funding in animation. Uh, we have a lot of back-end work happening. We have a lot of work coming from uh, America, Europe, and uh, we have a lot of big studios in India doing their back-end, which I think is not so great because we need to push our own stories. We need to tell our own uh, you know, tales and make our own animation. So I think we need to uh, really you know, make that our agenda rather than you know, becoming a back-end industry. Mm -hmm. Is the environment in India uh, encouraging or conducive to animators like yourself, storytellers that want to uh, tell their stories in, in that manner? Is it conducive? Is there interest to make animated films in India? There's a huge level of interest in India. A uh, lot of people want to be animators. Lots of young people now, everyone you sort of, you know, every second person says they want to be an animator, which is great. Uh, we have a lot of animation schools coming up. I also teach animation uh, at IIT we have, where we have a master's level course. So in that sense, yes, there is a huge buzz with animation. Everyone wants to be in the field, uh, gaming, animation and related areas. And I think it's an exciting time to be in animation and the industry is growing. We need to certainly push it in a way that works for our country, which we aren't doing too much right now because the funding is low, because people aren't seeing the potential so much. Uh, you know, a lot of people get into gaming, which becomes again a lot of back-end work. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's the other platforms like mobile phones and, you know, that those kind of applications. Mm -hmm. That certainly is also, um, you know, a platform for animation. Lots of young people getting into that. Uh, but storytelling, uh, in terms of uh, feature length films, mm -hmm. uh, very little going on. Right. Uh, in terms of independent shorts, there's some amount of work going on because uh, you know technology now is such that people can go ahead and make their own films right. without too much funding. But I think where uh, you have a feature film concerned, uh, you need the backing of a good production house. You need to put your film out there and that costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of you know time and uh, a lot of resources are needed. Right. So we still need to have that in place. Right. Now, obviously, Indian audiences have exposure more and more to world cinema, be it through anim in the animated format or just big Hollywood films. The budgets that go into the animated films, like you were speaking on the panel, are quite different from the funding that is. Uh, available to Indian filmmakers. How do you overcome that challenge? How do you go about, you know, bridging that gap? Because audiences are seeing everything, be it in India or the world over. Absolutely. I think audiences are unforgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do uh, a good job of whatever you're doing. But I, I still feel even if you have a low budget film, it's possible uh, if you design it well, if you tell your story well, uh, if you uh, you've, if you're very inventive with the way you make your film, I think it's still possible to not really we're not competing in terms of the way they put their films out, the big studios, uh, because that's that's an impossibility. Uh, the kind of backing they have, the kind of reach they have, is is it's tough to match that. But certainly, I think one can make a dent. It's not impossible, and uh, really, with our film, it's it's not a very expensive film. Uh, we've spent about two and a half years making our film. Very few people, about 20 people making the film over two and a half years. I think uh, we've kind of, you know, risen to the challenge yeah. <laughs> and made a film that people are keen to watch and uh, excited about seeing. Uh, people we've shown it to, uh, they're entertained by it, you know. It's a musical and I think appealing to our audiences, though not, not a big budget film for yeah. sure. <laughs> what made you keen into 
getting into animation and telling your stories in an animated format when you first started off what was it that triggered your your animation towards animation well i have been attracted to the medium for a very long time i i always drew and painted and this is what i wanted to do i'm an illustrator also for books uh, but i'm also keen on films and it kind of brought both the interests together yeah. drawing and filmmaking and uh, i think uh, this was when i was in art school way back and that's when i thought this medium is the one for me because it brings both the interests together and really uh, you know it's an amazing medium and once you get into it i think you're so hooked on to it it's it's that kind of a you taste blood and then that's it <laughs> you don't want to do anything else now obviously gopi and baga i'm sure if um, this is being watched in india and now across the world with the premiere at toronto it's a classic tale which i'm sure most of us have heard or now will hear and it was made at one point in time by satyajit ray um were you ever intimidated or did you take it upon as a challenge that you know i'm going to do it in my way what what made you want to take this story up again and tell it in your way well it was completely intimidating uh, satyajit ray is an institution and uh, i think it would be strange to take satyajit ray on one doesn't do that but uh, we based the film on uh, the story by upendra kishore roy choudhury who is uh, satyajit ray's grandfather uh, and his film of course was also based on the book but uh, we used the book as our skeleton for the story we added our own twists and turns uh and uh, like you said you know everyone's grown up with gopi gain baga bain so uh, you know once you get over the intimidation i think uh, you know it's a story that belongs to all of us uh it's something that everyone loves so you quickly get over it and you get on with making the film in the way you can in the way you would want to tell the story and that's exactly what we did uh we made it with a lot of love with a lot of respect for the material yeah. and uh, of course with uh, the the huge uh, legacy that uh, the the story has yeah. that certainly played a big role in you know how we tried to uh, make our film we wanted to make the film uh, something that was worth putting out and you know yeah. uh, i- we didn't want uh, uh, we didn't want to do anything that uh, sort of spoils go pig and for anybody yeah. you know yeah. we wanted it just to be uh, another good experience of go pig and yeah. for more audiences for younger people right the voices for gopi and baga and you said there's a lot of course singing and there's a lot of could call it like theatrical uh, exchanges between them so how did you find the right voices what were you looking for and who are the voices by because audiences would love to know who these lovely singers are <laughs> yeah well it is a musical so obviously yeah. it was completely music led and uh, narayan parshuram is the person who's directed the music uh, he has an outfit called three brothers and a violin and uh, he sings he makes music he's a classical musician he's 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 absolutely wonderful with music and uh, what we tried to do uh, was uh, we didn't want to situate gopi baga in any particular part of india we wanted it to be pan indian we wanted it to be uh, something that everyone could identify with so we've taken forms from different parts of the country so be it a folk form or uh, something called bharud is what we also you know a question answer kind of a song uh, then we looked at uh, abhangs we looked at kabir uh, vani we looked at uh, you know there's a malhar in the film uh, based on a on a rag so uh, we try to use every possible form of music you know uh, singers of course again you know we didn't use one voice for gopi yeah. we used various voices gopi sings in a hundred voices he's the voice of the people which is why you know we had we didn't want him to be identified with just the one voice uh, everyone can sing like gopi and gopi sings like everyone uh, but we had these wonderful singers there's muktiar ali uh, he's uh, he sings kabir in the folk tradition he's done he's got an amazingly powerful voice uh, he's done three of our songs uh, then we have jaitirth mevundi who's a classical musician he's done the malhar for us uh, then we have multiple voices in the the last song uh, 
the first song is by uh, someone called Mahadevan. He's Shankar Mahadevan's brother. Uh, he's done the wonderful uh, first song for us where Gopi sings supposedly off key, but I think it's, it's the best song in the film. <laughs> it, it is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. Another interesting aspect of Gopi and Bhaga is the animation technique used in it, the style of animation. What made you set your mind that this is the style you wanted to use? Because you could have done many, it many other ways. Why this style? Uh, well, you know, I started the film with a book. I was illustrating an book, a book which was written by Gulzar Saab. It was written in Hindi. And uh, I made about 50 illustrations for the book. And these illustrations really formed the basis of what I did for the film. So it, it had a little storybook feel to it. And we tried to then push that for the film also, you know, where all the characters looked like marionettes, so they looked whatever, puppet-like and like cutouts. And uh, we then, since it was started with drawing, we then used platforms which would just help us, um, uh, you know, computer-based platforms that would help us uh, composite the film together. And uh, so uh, really the style follows from the illustration process. Um, and uh, we've kept it very staccato. Uh, there's not that much animation happening, but there's a lot happening in terms of design, in terms of you know, the number of characters that are there on the screen or the kind of interaction that's going on. Uh, the storytelling is so full, so uh, you know, we've kept our animation slightly minimal. Mm -hmm. that's, that was our, uh, you know, that's the way we tried to go. Congratulations on the screening in Toronto, the premiere in Toronto. The world of Gopi and Baga is still playing at the festival and all the very best uh, for the journey forward. And thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you so much for having me. Please watch the film. <laughs> thank you.